fuck. I bet, bro. Good night, cuz. You can fuck with PlayStation files, God. Hey, oh guys. I know it's a little too late. It's like 3 a.m. and I can't sleep, so you know what? I was like, yo, Doki Doki Literature Club just dropped some new DLC ish type shit. So, like the second one, so I have, I have to do this. So, let's go. And I've never played Doki Doki Literature Club, mind you. I just heard that there was a big update, and I was like, yeah. I might have to get up in on this. So, let's go, bro. Another, with, with all that shit being said, also, please check out the sponsor for W Goku X. God. No, Goku the God up on W. Get your code, get you some W, get you a tub of that beach and peach and shit. Let's get into this, bro. It's like I'm low key excited. Like, this shit just dropped, like, not even a couple of hours ago for me. So. That girl Sayori, my neighborhood and good friends, friends since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. You never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've grown. I have this fucking friend. We used to walk together to school. But it's starting around high school when she start when she would oversleep. Oh damn, I, I'd probably be like that, and I would get tired of waiting. But if she's going to chase chase after me like this, I almost feel better for running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crossway and let Sayori catch up to me. But listen, I have a uh, voice acting. Does this not have voice acting? I swore this thing had like uh, voice acting. Damn, alright, shit, I guess not. Ooh, I overslept again. But I caught up to you this time. Yes, I'm giving her this voice because I fucking feel like it. Well, shit, maybe. Only it's because I stopped and waited for you. Uh -uh. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's me. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird to me, then don't they think we're a couple or some man? Uh... I'm fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be even mean, even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, sir. We got Lee. We cross the crossroad together and make our way to school. As we draw near the street, becoming a crystal leaves. Spark speckled. I, I don't even. Increasingly obvious with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Goku, have you decided on joining a club yet? Did you just say a club? I told you, bro. I'm not interested in getting anything. Get into any godly club, man. Not interested. Haven't been looking either. Oh, God. Eh, that's not true. You told me you wanted to join the club this year. 
I did. Nick, since when? I'm sure it's possible that I did one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever the fuck it says. Sayori likes to worry. Well, oh, too much about me. You know, I'm perfectly content on being an average. Spending my time on video games and anime. See, bro, this man gets me. Uh huh. I was talking about how worried that you won't learn to socialize and have any skills before college. Your happiness is very important to me. And I know you're happy, but I don't want you to. I don't. But I die at the thought of you being neat. Becoming a neat. In a few, what, what, what is a neat? Hold on, let me look this up. Nick, what? Not employed. Ah. Uh. So basically, that one, that one person from, uh. South Park in a in a mama's basement with those Cheetos playing out one online game from that season. I, I get you, I get you, I get you. So basically a loser. Bro, I'm not about to be no dang loser, bro. What do you what are you on about? You trust me, right? Don't keep me worrying about you. Bruh, alright, bro. Alright, chill out. I'll look into a few clubs and make you happy, bro. Absolutely no promises. Here.
sorry, bruh. I'm back. I currently had to deal with the situation, but... Will you at least promise you will a little? Yes, bruh. I promise, bruh. Why do I let myself be lectured by this carefree... Ugh, I don't even know. When, I'm surprised I even let myself relate to her. Uh, I guess she's so much worried about me to ease her mind a little bit, even if... No. Even if she's over-exaggerating a little bit inside of her own head. Maybe as ordinary as ever. Before I know it, shit's done. I have my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. I guess she wants me to go out and go and look for something. Yes, now I have no choice but go with the anime club. Sayori. Shit, I must have been spacing out. Damn, we the only two in front of us? I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom. But I saw you. You were just sitting here spacing out, so I came in. Honestly. You're even worse than sometimes. I'm very impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. Aren't you late for your own club, bruh? Well, I thought you needed some encouragement, so you know. Know what? Well, you could come join my club. Sayori. There's no way. In absolute hell. I'm joining your club. Me, me. Oh, she's vice president of the literature club. I'm not even aware that she was even interested in lectures. In fact, 99%. She only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new damn club. Since she was the first one interest, you know, She's earned the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in the Liberal Club is even more or less. Man, I think I'm going to the Anime Club. Come on, please. Why the f do you care? Why do you care? Well... I kind of told my club yesterday I'd be bringing in the I'm gonna kill him my damn self, bro. What? Hey, hold on. You do got me with the food, though. Uh, don't make promises, bro. I'm only stopping by for a damn cupcake. Got it. Us today marks the day I sell my soul for a damn cupcake. Follow her upstairs to the section I rarely even go into. I don't know why she's full of energy like she got ADHD or autism, but you know, we open the classroom door. Everyone, our new member is here. I, I told you, don't call me a new member, bro. Not even by joining. Ugh. I'm sorry, I be on. Welcome to the Literature Club. I hope. I hope you'll. Damn it, hold on, I gotta give her a good voice. Cause this Sayori 
Uh, girl number one. Um, Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. That's the best I can do, man. Diori says nice things about you. Off rip, I don't like her. I'm about to give her the bitchiest voice ever. Sayori, seriously? You want a boy here? Like, I don't even get dick. Like, come on, like, come on now, bro. Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, Goku. What a surprise. Welcome to the Literature Club. I'm locked in a room with a bunch of women. This goes great. What are you looking at? If you want some say, say it. My bad. Not the key. I'm not saying that. She's definitely a first year. And she made cupcakes. Hey, she might not be too bad. You can just annoy it. You can just ignore her. She's just getting moody. Period. Period. This is not too always full of energy. And Yuri's the smartest in the club. Oh. Hold on, wait, nah, I don't read her voice. Fuck. Uh. Ugh. Don't say that. Well, it's nice to meet you both. It sounds like you already know, Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's nice to see you again, Goku. Why is she smiling? We like rarely talk in class. You're in the same class like what, last year? Monica's probably the popular girl, beautiful girl in school. Basically, completely out of my goddamn league. So, having her smile generally feels a bit good. You too, Monica. Come sit down, Goku. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me and Monica. I'll get the cupcake. Hey. I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I just got a little too excited. Then how about... You make some tea as well. The girls have desks arranged around form of a table. So I already mentioned she had, it's been widened, so you know, more people. One space right next to me, Sayori and Monica. Natsu and Yuri over in the corner of the room, where Natsu grabs the wraps and tray, and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward sitting next to Sayori, low key. Natsu proudly marches back with a tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Oh, what? Okay, so fluffy cupcakes that look like cats? Shit, not bad. You might be a baker. You know, you might got some shit. Icing with low. Okay, hold on. You only got that gift, huh? So you. I 
quiet. No. I had no idea you were so good at baking. Not to. Well, <laughs> you know. Just hurry up. Take a look. So we all grabbing some damn cupcakes. It's delicious. I turn around with my finger at the best angle to take a bite. Right there, she glaring at me a little, a little too hard. That's sweet. I wonder if she made it herself. This will go. You did just set up on. Thanks, Lancer. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I. I have heard that's right. Made them for you or anything. Eh, I just thought technically you did since I already said you know. Well, maybe. But not for you, Demi. Alright, bro, chill out. I give up on her weird logic and go dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying some damn tea. Ooh, hold on, teacups in hand? Hold on. You keep a tea set up in the classroom, okay? Don't worry. No, wait, no. Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Whatever. Don't let Yuri intimidate you. Yuri's just trying to impress you. No, I'm not. I meant... No, hold on. Damn, I'm really not keeping track of the voices at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm... No. Well... What was it? Jesus, I suck at this. I meant that, you know. I believe you. You're fine. See, and reading might not be the, the best passing time for me, but I also enjoy some great tea, you know. I'm glad. She's relieved, and Monica gives a raises an eyebrow then smiles. Well, no. So you made it into a literature club. Uh, I haven't joined any club yet, so you already seem ha really happy for me to be here. So. That's great. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home. As president, of the literature club it's my duty to make all of you happy shit i'm impressed how come you decided to start your own club you could probably be like the board member of like any other club you know weren't you a leader of the bay club last year bro well you know to be honest, I can't stand all the politics. Especially around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget. Probably. And how to prepare for events. I'd rather take some time personally and enjoy something as something special out of it. 
encourage me to get into other things like literature. Then fulfill my dream. Monica's a really great leader. She nods in agreement. Well, I'm surprised, you know, there aren't many more people here then. Seems to be hard to start at least a club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very impressed by putting all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it doesn't grab your attention like literature. To grab and to convince people to join are both fun and worthwhile. It makes school, but it makes school events and the like festival more important. I'm confident that we really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. Yes. Now what? This is gonna be her voice because I fucking feel like it. You know? Oh, you know, I'm gonna leave the, the downward voice for her. Monica's gonna get that. The high pitch, bitch. <laughs> you know it. These bitches are out of fucking hand, yet they still can make this book? Crazy to me. So, Goku, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, shit, I don't really read it all oh, for real. <laughs> Fuck with manga, you know. Why, why are you getting so damn uppity? Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. Fuck am I saying? I spoke without thinking. Sorry guys, a water break. Feels so much better now. What about you, Yuri? We'll see about that. My favorite book is usually not with that deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling a good story is such a foreign world is equally impressive. Damn, she really into this. She seemed relieved and completely different when she talked about books. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with great philosophy element usually immerse me as well. It's amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of em our imagination to completely throw off the loop. I've been reading a lot of horror lately too. I read a couple of horror shit once. It desperately gasps something as I can really with mm, yeah. a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have a conversation with a rock. Really? I didn't expect that from you, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you are. <laughs> well, I guess you could say that. But if 
the story makes me think it takes me to another world and I really can't put it down surreal horror is often very successful in changing the ways of the world if only for a brief moment Ugh, I hate horror why is that well I just Never mind. This bitch is scary cat. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. You usually write about cute shit, don't you, Nazi? What? Who did you that idea? You know, a piece of cat came from my last club meeting. It looked like you were writing a poem called. Don't you dare say it out loud. And give it back. Bye, bye. Your cupcakes are your poem. Everything you do is just as cute as you are, Nazi. I'm not cute. Nazi, just write. Your own poems. Why do you care? Oh, I just think it's impressive. Why don't you share them? They're probably good. Yeah. You would like it. Shit. I'm not really even a confident confident writer, so I mean, I don't even know. I understand how Nazi feels. Sharing the same level takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing about oneself be willing to open open to your readers and, ex and exposing your vulnerability and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart yo this yo I'm like stuttering on half the shit this bitch says she she is about to make me like gag on like the fucking big chewy words man Like God fucking damn. Do you even have writing experience here? Maybe if you share them, your work can set an example and have not seen how we're comfortable around our peers. I guess it's the same for you, ain't it? Well, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Okay, I have an idea for everybody. Let's all go on. write a poem about ourselves. Next time we meet, we'll all share one to each other. Do we hear everyone's even? Yeah, let's do it. Plus, the new member I love to help us, you know, be comfortable with everybody and shake them on the poem. Isn't that right, nigga? Nigga, did she just call me nigga? Uh, there's a bit of a fucking problem. So, I mean, stop calling me that nigga word. I slapped the, the bullshit about you. Your little motherfucking pigtails will go the fuck off your goddamn head anyway. And what's that? I never said I was gonna tell it. You know? <laughs> I never said it. Sorry, you convinced me to stop by. Never said I was gonna make any type of fucking decision. I still have the anime club to look at, you know, gaming club to look at, you know, other shit. Oh god damn. They're giving me to like the death stairs, like. 
there's no way you about to leave us. What? I'm sorry, I thought. Okay, okay. Uh, fine. I'm doing the fucking leadership club. What's the worst that could happen, right? Yay, I'm so happy. Bro, why, why are you hugging me? You really did care. Scare me for a moment, didn't you? If you really didn't like the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. Well then. Well, no. Well then, it's official. Welcome to Lazy Club, you know? <laughs> Thanks, bruh. Happy to be here, I guess. All right, everyone. We can officially end today, so I'm good now. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. We had a phone. Who was the next day? And we'll all share. Go go I look forward to see how you stretch yourself. You know? All right. Meanwhile, the girls chit chat, and Yuri and Nats to clean up their food. Hey, Goku. We're already here. Do you want to walk home together? Damn. I really don't walk home right now. I'm just mostly to school. Shit, fuck it. Let's go. As we walk home, no way. My mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsu, Gutty, but God leaves him fine. Dang it. And Monica, shit, her thing's dang it too. Not so don't gosh. Say you're an average boy. Yuri got them things. Monica got them. Nah, I'm ready. Hold on. Yuri got the thang things. Hold on. Monica got the things. Not so got the lollies. Uh, I don't do none of that. That, that. That's all my big buddy Caleb job, you feel me? He he he, he is A1 with that, you know, feel me? That, that's his A1 steak sauce. Sayori is, you know, average. Well, I'll be happy spending my... <sighs> Sorry. It is very late, though. Will I really be trying to spend my time at a lucha club of all things? Shit, maybe I'll go closer, you know? Maybe your shit. You will follow the bank banks, you know? Let's just make the most of this shit and let's make a poem tonight. Alright, after that shit, it says, okay, time to... Make a poem, pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen when whoever likes your, your poem the most. Uh, peace, crimson, lazy, fuck it, uh, heart rate. Okay, damn, sad bitch. Um. No, let's just go to pressing scenes there. D damn. Foreshadowing. The fuck? Um. Anime. Yeah. Uh. No, let's go play. Games. Duh. Fantasy. W. Marriage. Yeah, we got a puppy. Lollipops. Massacre. Oh god. Um 
let's go with Alan Hoyas Wrath. Essence. Dope, dope, yeah. Uh, romance. This. Hope. Love. Music. I want to pick this. Oh, God. Hi, Goku. Ready, chat? Don't worry, this might be a little strange for me, but at least, you know, I did keep my work. Shit, we back. Thanks for waiting, Goku. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for you to commit to. Making you dive head first into Witch Club isn't, you know, the best. Oh, come on. Like he deserves my slack. See, I already told me you didn't even want to join the club this year. And last year, too. I don't even know if you plan to join here. And hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, this will end well. Yo, I know your little short stack ass is not on that. Girl, you will get folded. I am a D. No. I am a classified D6 crash out. Keep your manga and bullshit to yourself in your club room. You big mouth fuck. Just like Monica saying. Boy. What you talking about? Yeah. Stammering and shit. Yeah. I do have to agree with her. Because manga is literature. I don't give a fuck if I am a weeb. I don't care. Manga is literature. Who are you guys? Joker gets his best as long as he's having fun. He hopes he's a busy work without me. Even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Say, so, Ari, that's because you're a fucking mess. Let's be real. Am I reading this correctly? I know I'm not high. I don't do drugs, but like, I know I'm not high. You almost set your house on fire. Mm. Yeah, you deserve that. You deserve that. You, you just dead ass gave me the biggest headache. Cause what the frick? You two are very good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Goku can become great friends too. Sayori. really don't put me in this damn situation. Say or even No, I'm I'm switching my normal voice when I'm doing her. I can't keep doing that voice. You are even bought you something, you know? Wait, Sayori. She brought me some shit? No. Not really. Don't be shy. Really? No. Really? It's nothing. What is it? Never mind. See, you already made it a big thing yesterday. Damn, she really hit you with the what I do. Well, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. 
and thank you for the nice gesture. You know, I was pleasant surprise. I fuck with it. I thank you for it. Um, make you happy no matter what. And I mean that, shorty, me ha ha. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read. It should keep your attention, even if you really don't want to use read it. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. Ooh. Giving the shy look, still and them thing, the thing, boy, on the gang, you know what you're into. Man, man, man. I'll read it. Phew. I was generally worried. I look forward in hearing what you have to think about it. Monica goes ahead and, you know, she reading the f- fucking, you know, the agenda for the day, you know. Say, or, you know, having a conversation up in the corner, Yuri's buried in a damn book and not too fun some shit. Bro, why do I feel bothered today? I was supposed to accompany myself with literature related stuff on myself, like. I can always read the book here he gave me, but uh, I'm not feeling a little bit of a You will probably seem very lame compared to all the other club, though. Well, we can't give up. That's all the only chance to tell you, like, that, you know, let me just worth it. The problem is that no one wants to join because you know that you dance or something, you know, you keep like you twerk. But it's not like we, like we don't know that already. We just need to worry that everyone, someone's figured out our club. That doesn't solve our problem, though. What do you mean? Even if most people hear about it, nobody will come here in the first place to let letters the club event. So the most important offer is how to get people to show up in places, you know? They come. We can probably speak, you know, do things creatively. It pains me to say it, but this girl is smart when it comes to shit she like. Hey, bro, I guess we saw the cupcakes. Fuck it. I'm sorry, I can't be reading every single last word, man. I'm putting this thing up on audio, uh, up on auto for only the important stuff. Nigga, you always hungry. I find myself smiling. It's like that Sayori is actually doing something. Not expected, you know? Find the right motivation and all. Sayori can put her mind some things when she's very motivated. I suppose, you know, at the end, that's the case in most things. See the world through her eyes, if only. Whoa, you were too close.
You're just saying that. Well, you're late again, aren't you? Now that you're in the club, you're gonna end up having less time for anime, you know? Don't say that too loud. That is going to be a problem. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But it's, you know, kind of stuffy.
guys. I feel like I might just leave it here. What is that kind of lots of that? Because if I had a boyfriend, he wouldn't even let go. Yeah, she also perked 30, man. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. All right, everyone. Why don't we share our poems? Why don't you go ahead and move on? Like this is a great place to leave this shit off at, you know. So next time, this was not a bad game. I'll probably see what else is up with it. I don't know why people like it. Off oh, rip it. It's kind of, kind of boring. I'll probably see what the best is, but you know what? In the comments, please tell me who should I read next to and why. But most likely, I'll pick Yuri because shit, them things is thinking. But anyways, this almost.